margin, technically, is the difference between the market value of the stock owned and the loan amount. Different securities have different margin requirements. So if the margin requirement for buying stock XYZ is 30%, here's how you would calculate the margin required to buy 1,000 shares of stock XYZ if it's priced at $50 per share. You take 1,000 shares and multiply by $50 per share, multiplied by the margin requirement of 30%, which equals $15,000. So while your account will have $50,000 worth of stock XYZ in it, the minimum amount of cash you had to put up for this purchase was $15,000. You are allowed to borrow the other 70%, or $35,000, from the brokerage. If the value of the stock decreases, you might run into the risk of a margin call. The maintenance margin requirement tells you how much margin you need to have at a minimum at all times. If the maintenance margin requirement is 25%, then if stock XYZ falls in price from $50 to $40, the total position value has also fallen from $50,000 to $40,000. You still owe the brokerage $35,000, and if we subtract this from $40,000, we are left with only $5,000 as your margin. $5,000 divided by $40,000 equals 12.5%. Because this is below the maintenance margin requirement of 25% in this case, you would be asked to either deposit another $5,000 to bring up the margin to 25% or sell some shares. Let's now look at margin requirements for short selling a stock. With short selling, the margin requirement is the normal margin requirement plus 100% of the value of the security. So if you wanted to short sell 100 shares of stock ABC that had a normal margin requirement of 30%, the short selling margin requirement would be 130%. Let's say stock ABC is $10. The total trade value would be short 100 shares times $10, which is short $1,000. The margin requirement to hold this short position is 100 shares times $10 per share times 130%, which equals $1,300. One final note about short selling. If the stock you are shorting goes up in value, your losses could be substantial. Sometimes, even a small rally in the price of shares can trigger a margin call. It's important to educate yourself about short selling before attempting it. And note that many investors never engage in short selling at all.